Oh. Here we go again. Here we go again indeed, Timothy. Tim, so the next uh, challenge is going to be uh, operating our counterbalance uh, forklift truck. Uh, we're going to be uh, manoeuvring around specific courses uh, and we're going to be picking up and depositing pallets. Forklifts! Oh man. The final part, we're going to be going around our uh, chicane challenge uh, that we're going to set for you. Yeah, that looks really easy. See you next week. Oh. What do you do? So Tim, how do you feel about your next challenge? Oh, you've turned up, have you? Well, yeah, uh, apparently I'm supposed to learn how to do a forklift. Uh, I've just had my ass wedged into uh, a coffin on wheels, so a forklift. How hard can it be? Probably really hard. I'm going to have a few days off because he didn't say when I'm supposed to do it, and then probably I'm going to go really hardcore on my research this time, sit in the office and do some YouTubing. at a secret location somewhere in England. All right, that's kind of given the game away. This is the venue for Tall Timothy's Forklift Driving Challenge. Oh. Nice one, Raymondo. Oh. It's a bit noisy, that car. Right then, let's get my forklift done. Ah, man with a high vis and a lanyard, you've got to be the instructor. Hi Tim, Paul Moon, MD Two Star, pleased oh, to meet you. MD, manage it, so you're the big, you're Mr Two Star. Oh, I am, yes, I'm the it? guy who's got it all started. Is that yet. what people call you, Mr Two Star? Chief, normally. Oh, Chief, okay, Chief. <laughs> so, uh, I, I've got to be honest, as with all these things, I've never been on, or I don't think I've even touched a forklift, so... Uh, uh, in terms of training, how do, you think, how do you think I'll go? You're with the experts today, Tim. Okay. Uh, we're going to teach you everything you need to know from picking up and depositing the pallet to right. uh, manoeuvring the, uh, the forklift around the uh, chicane. And normally, with, with these kind of things, say you take your basic, most basic person ever, right? Yeah. How long does it take you to get them up to a rough standard that you know, you're confident of they're all right? Five days. Five days is an obvious course. Somebody that's never driven before or anything like that, and it takes five days to get up to this stand. Okay, we've got about five hours. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> let me show you in. Okay, thank you very much. All right, let me show you into the uh, warehouse, okay. Tim. The main come on in. forklifting area. Let me uh, give you one of these. Oh, okay. Uh, every oh, time okay. we come into the warehouse, we need to have our high visibility That's vest for on. That's safety and, and fashion, boots. yeah? Well, check that out as far as fashion concerned. Brilliant, concern. brilliant t shirt. Let me just uh, hook that up there. Right. Let's see if we can turn you into a forklift by the end of today. Okay, Mr. Instructor. <laughs> Uh, actually, I'm not actually an instructor. Well, I, well, 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 if you're not an instructor, you shouldn't be doing this, because seriously, I, you know, as far as teaching people, I'm like a baby, so... I'm one up from an instructor. I'm actually what you call a tutor. So I actually train instructors to become instructors as well. Oh, OK. So you're going to be in safe hands today, So you, it, although you are a tutor, you're the king of instructors? Uh, it's, it's something like that, yeah. Are, are you, like, the best one here? Have I got the best? Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't tell them that, yeah. 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 I need to do a bit of uh, theory first, if you want to come upstairs oh, with me. Oh no, is it like school? <laughs> the first thing we need to do is obviously go through a little bit of theory uh, right. with regards to operating a uh, forklift truck. Okay. Obviously it's imperative that we understand the theory aspects of operating one of these machines before we actually practically go down and do that. Uh, what we're going to, uh, going to cover is the Health and Safety at Worked at 1974, which I'm sure you're familiar with, come across before, Tim? Uh, yeah, I, I, I was around then, uh, yeah. <laughs> ish, just about. Excellent, good. OK, we're, all going to, we're going to talk about Sections 2, Section 7 and Section 8, OK? Obviously, safety briefings are an extremely important part of training. But let's be fair. They're about as exciting as watching your pants get clean on a slow wash cycle. Uh, so just take it, we're doing so you a favour here. That so Tim, in the uh, event of a, uh, a forklift uh, tipping over sideways, there's a certain specific action that we need to take. Can they, we, tip uh, they can tip over then? Oh yeah, as we were talking about previously there with stability. Looks like the main man is alert and full of forklifting knowledge. ...are able to tip if operated unsafely. Well done, Tim. That's the uh, theory all done and dusted now. Uh, have we done it? Oh. Let's go and actually do it for, uh, for real. Let's we, go and get on the machine. Are we not having a break first? Well, you've earned a tea bag so far, so let's actually get out there and uh, get onto the machine, shall we? This is like, I'm, a cele I'm not a celebrity. Don't get me out of here. Just <laughs> constantly make me work. With well, the mate. basic training about to begin, wonder how Paul feels about his brand new student. 
he, uh, he's listening to what he's been told. Although he puts a funny spin onto uh, different things, he, he's actually taking the information on. I can uh, tell that by the questions that uh, I'm asking him. And he's giving me a funny answer, but he, deep down I can tell that he actually understands the safety aspects of operating these machines. You know, they said it's five day training course. I think it takes four days just for, for all the safety procedures and stuff, because it's quite important. I might have fell asleep during some of it, but yeah, it's all right. Uh, just waiting on a cup of tea. What's annoying is, I've got any change, and you sit me outside a flipping machine, and I've asked everyone, no one's got any money. I'm starving. Okay, Tim, let's uh, go over to our um, forklift. This oh. is our counterbalance uh, forklift truck. Right. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to walk around the forklift and go through the major component parts okay. Okay, of, the, uh, of the forklift truck. Okay? Yeah. We're going to start here. Okay, these are our front wheels. Wheels. Okay. Uh, there's solid rubber tyres, okay, so you don't need to worry too much about uh, punctures or anything like that. Coming up from our uh, front wheel, we've got this uh, guard here, okay, this is called the overhead guard. Okay? Because it's over your head. That's right. Then that, oh yeah, so if it rolls. Yes, that's the bit that will catch you if you try to get out, which obviously we're not going to uh, not going to do. Do I not need a helmet? No. No, that's what the overhead guard there is for. Okay. okay. Oh, you've got this uh, big wrought iron part at the back. This is called our counterweight. Right. Okay, this is where uh, the weight is at the back of the machine. So the weight at the uh, back here is counteracting the weight. Whatever the load is on the front. On the yeah. front. Okay. Okay. You notice at the back, we've only got um, two wheels, but they're fairly close uh, close together. So this would be classed as a three-wheeled counterbalance. It's like a reverse Robin Reliant then in terms of wheels. It is, yeah, very much so. This is a three-piece uh, uh, mast, okay, and our carriage which is uh, this part here leading on to uh, onto our forks. The main points of the forks we need to, uh, to be aware of is this part here, okay, is referred to as the heel of the forks. It's ended like a character from Game of Thrones. What's that called again? The uh, heel of the forks. Heel of, I am the heel of the fork. Okay, <laughs> so that has to be back, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, you've got an even better one than that. You've also got castellations. Castellations? Yeah, castellations. The heel of the fork will move forward to castellations. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Good, that's it, three points of contact. Okay. Excellent. So, here's our handbrake. Yep. Okay. Our directional control leader, forwards Forward, neutral, uh, reverse, and yeah. uh, reverse. What was that called? The steering assist. Uh. Steering assist, uh. Yeah, steering assist. Not a brother, it's a sister. That's right. Okay. And we've got our uh, hydraulic controls. Okay, the one nearest to you is going to raise the mast up, up and, and down. down. And the second one is tilt and the third one we're not worrying about. That's right. So he now knows all the bits, but can he actually work them? Uh, to negotiate the uh, forklift round of a configure of eight, okay, round the barrels. So I'm going around the large tins of lubricant. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so once we've got our, uh, our, our full lock on, taking half our lock off, we're going to keep our pivot point no further than six inches away from that barrel. Four lock on, four lock off, no, half lock off, pivot point six inches. It's a lot of words. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And following a lot of words going from the forwards, tall one, he now gets to move the forklift for the first time, learning how to do extremely tight turns on what he's calling okay, the okay, lubricant lock slalom, lock slalom lock course. Off. How do I know what's half? Half the steering wheel. That's it. Now manoeuvre the machine around. That's it, so take some of that lock off. That's it. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm yeah. here. See us now, it's keep nice and close, no further than six inches. So take some of that lock off, we've got too much on at the moment. Off. Not exactly the speed and intensity of Formula One, but it was never going to be a fast one, this, especially with Tim at the wheel. Considering he has no idea what a pivot point or lock on and lock off means, it looks like he's doing okay, but apparently the tutor has a different take on matters. We're struggling a little bit, to be honest, uh, with, the, uh, with the steering. It's very difficult with the, uh, the steering wheels being underneath the machine because you can't see the angle that uh, there are. So it's uh, having that sort of natural feeling of the steering wheel and being able to know where the actual uh, machine uh, is going to travel with those wheels. I must say that's the biggest six inches I've ever seen. Cheers. <laughs> Innuendos aside then, will the tall one be able to lift a pallet with his forks? Because essentially that's what forklift drivers do. Tim, how do you, how you find it? Well, I'm trying to learn it and then you're asking me stupid questions and whatever. I mean, I'm trying to concentrate. I've got lubricant barrels here left and right and centre. I've got Paul shouting at me, full lock on, full lock off, mind your pivot point, whatever. My head is about to explode. My arm's killing. I'm locking on too much. I'm locking off too much. But apart from that, I'm really having a good time. Okay then, Tim. Next stage then. Now right. we've done the uh, the barrels. Is uh, we're going to be picking up and deposit a pallet. Okay. Picking and depositing. Yes. Okay. So we're going to be driving forwards. 
Right. I'll stop no further than six inches away from the pallet. It's always six inches for you. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Obsessed with six inches. Yeah. So, uh, raise the forks up, first lever, back down. Down. That's it. That's it, good. Keep coming back, keep coming, keep going. There it is. Okay, and lower the forks down. That's it. Just, uh, just off the floor, tip slightly uh, higher than the heels of the forks. Right, so we're now going to drive towards the pallet. Right. Okay, and with our six inches, stop uh, no further away so we can line up. Kind of like the factory is on a go-so, but I suppose he's still training after all. With all the various things he has to concentrate on, yeah. for once, Tim appears to be keeping his gob shut. Right. Full marks to Paul as tutor for that achievement. Keep going forwards till we get that kiss. The heel of the forks onto the load. That's it, stop. I'm finding this one one of the toughest that I've found. My brain is mush, my legs are mush. In fact, on the scale of uh, that to that, I'm probably back there around the back. And uh, I feel like that sign on the back of the truck, it says this vehicle stops frequently. Uh, I, I need to stop because I've got a challenge now, which is, it keeps going on about chicanes. This isn't it's on Formula One, it's Formula Fork. This is the final challenge. The, the final stage, the final this challenge, the, okay. The final challenge to, uh, to test yourself, okay? Right. So, with our forklift truck, yeah. okay, we're gonna drive forwards, pick up the load at what we call our vertical face. That's quite a big load as well, those big tyres, all right? It is. Right. Okay, and then we're gonna reverse back, yeah. and then we're gonna safely negotiate the chicane to the exit. As simple as that. I'm glad it's not. A, yeah, I'm glad it's a setup uh, chicane with pallets because I can see all of these getting knocked over. This is what we call in Wolverhampton duck's ass, as tight as. <laughs> so will Tall Tim be able to manoeuvre his big load through the duck's derriere chicane? Oh, I appear to be doing the innuendos now. A bit more. Yeah. That's it. Keep going. Good. No, that's other way. No, it's not No. I thought it was that, man. Bring yourself round. Watching the rear end swing. Excellent. Start taking that lock off now. Start heading towards this corner for this pivot point. So the rear end of the machine needs to be really close to that corner now. If I touch it anymore, we'll be married. As this challenge is more about precision than speed, you can probably forgive Timothy for his snail-style forklift driving. Usually, this chicane challenge is taken on the fifth day of training, rather than the fifth hour. We're called uh, two-day forklifters. Uh, we get the job done, but it takes two days for me to get around the chicane. <laughs> I wouldn't like to be your governor unloading the lorry <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Now. I see one for overtime. <laughs> Good, and stop there. Yay! <laughs> right. Let's do that in reverse. Oh, let's not. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yes, let's. Oh, no, I can see what you're doing. <laughs> That's good. Right. Right. You know you wanted a cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you've got all the other ingredients apart from the milk. Oh, is that your milk? This one? is your milk. Yeah, that looks well stable. What you see, what you're saying is if, if that drops off or I smash this or something, no tea. No tea, and we don't want to cry over spilt milk, do we? No, all right, let me do the joke. <laughs> Oh, it's wobbling already. <laughs> Kudos to Paul for not making an innuendo about oh, jugs no. there. So, he managed to conquer the tight space going forward, but how is our backwards driver going to cope Stop going backwards? Oh, God, I've never been so stressed. That's it, start bringing around. Watch your three critical points. That's going to be turning into cream in a minute if you keep wobbling it like that. Oh, it's, it's, turned <laughs> in, um, it's taking me that long. It's turned into margarine. Start getting closer to the other side. Line up your pivot point. Get the rear of the machine close to that corner. Well done. That's really, really good, Tim. I'm impressed. See that? That looks too tight. I can't deal with compliments when I'm doing this. <laughs> That's it. You're doing well. Watch the milk. It's wobbling. Screw the milk. I just didn't want to, I just want to actually... The last time I was... No, watching. that's going to hit. Oh, mm. which... That's it. Suppose okay. it's a bit like that game where you have to guide the metal ring over the metal wire course well, without touching the sides. Although, unfortunately, he doesn't get an electric shock if he fails. Ooh, Easily does it. 
Reminds me when I was on the bus, if you brake too hard, the passengers go mental. That's it, and stop there. Deposit our load then. Right, uh, tilt first. Tilt first, which is forward. This is where it's going to go. With off. only the load to deposit, it appears our non driving guinea pig yeah. may have respectably yeah. nailed another challenge. <laughs> the forks are too low there. Okay. You can hear them touch the floor, so just raise your forks. Yeah. Keep Please. looking behind you. That's it. And stop there. Finally, he can breathe again. Oh, you're confusing me, but I've done it! Yay! <laughs> well done. He's picked up uh, things really quickly. It's uh, a very tight chicane and tight manoeuvring and to, uh, to get the jug through, which uh, it was uh, fairly uh, unbalanced on there. He did a really, really good, uh, good job. All along, I've been saying, you've been saying, oh, you get your tea, then you did that with a jug and whatever. Where's my biscuits? In my office. All right, then, well, where's your office? In our Portsmouth branch. Portsmouth? I'm a bit proud of that, because that, that, that's one of the, you know, I've done some things, and that's probably one of the most, in my head, difficult things, because it takes five days to do that. Granted, I've had Paul show me the ropes all the way through, and he's been great. But, you know, he, he could have got the biscuits in quicker, that's all I'm saying. He's, he's used and abused me in terms of getting me to do things. But that, it's really difficult, but, I'm, you know, I'll never be a full-on forklift driver, but I, another one ticked. Forklift driver, I'm about there now on the scale. It was before I was there. You know, I'm not there yet, but at least I've moved one, so uh, I'm happy.